Mark Footit took his tally of LV County Championship wickets this summer to 52, his best ever return, as he took 6 for 48, a career best, as Derbyshire nearly finished off their game at the 3A County ground with Glamorgan inside two days. 16 wickets had fallen on the first day and the very first ball of day two saw Gareth Cross bowled by Michael Hogan after the batsman left alone. Hogan struck again in his second over of the morning as Alex Hughes also found the Australian to be unplayable, but Tony Palladino tried to turn the tide by belting Hogan over the rope for a six. Derbyshire had begun the day on 142 for six, but had slipped to 147 for eight at the fall of Hughes's wicket, which put them only nine runs ahead of their opponents. But then numbers 9 and 10, David Wainwright and Palladino, joined forces to help their side develop a bigger lead, and one that turned out to be a very significant one as this day wore on. Neither batted like tail-enders. Indeed, these boundaries were fairly rare as both defended, knowing the value of every run they could add to their side's total, in what was going to be a low-scoring affair on a pitch a number of the bowlers would like to have carried around with them all year. This pair added 73 runs together for the ninth wicket in 28 overs before Palladino on 33 was finally dismissed by Dean Koska as the batsman hauled out to Murray Goodwin at long off. Footed superb day started with a bat in his hands. He certainly didn't impress Koska with the way he played the spinner. But the number 11 had made 16 before Wainwright was out at the other end for 35 as Hogan had him taken behind to end with figures of 5 for 63, his third fifer of the season. Thanks to 9, 10 and Jack, Derbyshire had made 241 for a first innings lead of 103 and then Footit began to take over. First by having Will Bragg caught off a badly mistimed shot which was held by Tom Taylor. The left armour bowled with pace and hostility in a superb opening spell, which also saw him grab the wicket of Goodwin, who nicked off before he'd scored. Footed picked up his third wicket in his fourth over, Jacques Rudolph being shot to face a nasty bumper, which he could only glove back to the bowler, who then had his 50th championship wicket of the summer, the second man to do that after Said Ajmal, when Chris Cook lost his off stump to a quick and moving delivery. Footage's awesome spell brought him five wickets for 21 runs, the fifth being Ben Wright, another to be done by the pace and bounce. That left Glamorgan on 42 for five and facing the possibility of an innings defeat. Jim Allenby and Mark Wallace were at least able to add 41 runs for the sixth wicket, but then the former edged Taylor to Wayne Madsen to go for 17. Taylor struck again in his next over. Wallace on 25, edging to cross behind the stumps and a two-day finish was now on the cards. But Derbyshire were then held up for 13 overs by James Harris and Koska, who was bowled when he went on the attack to Taylor and missed. By then, Glamorgan led by only 15 runs. The 19-year-old Taylor has been a real find this summer for his county and he was a little unlucky not to add a fourth wicket when Will Owen edged him over the slips. Footit then returned to the attack to remove Harris, who ended a 63-ball stay with an edge behind, leaving it to the last pair of Owen and Hogan to at least ensure that this game would carry into a third day. In just 20 minutes together, they added 36 runs with a few hits, and that meant that Footit had to end with figures of 6 for 48, the best of his career in his best ever season. Wainwright brought an end to the innings on 175 when he held one back to bowl Owen for a top score of 28. That meant that Derbyshire were left with only 73 to win for the second game in succession. They lost Billy Godelman before a run had been scored, however, Hogan grabbing his 46th wicket of the season with an LBW. But this was Footit's day. Thanks to him, his side will enter the third day needing only 60 more runs after Ben Slater and Madsen battled through the last half an hour in adding 13. After a bad run this summer, Derbyshire are beginning to look like a team that was promoted from this division just a couple of seasons ago.